Joe D'Amico, Port Discovery. Um, with regards to um, strengthening the Public uh, Records Act, Act and FOIA requests, as you know, I've done a lot of public records requests and I believe in that. And, um, but I also believe that this county has supported uh, weakening the Public Records Act with Washington State with the minimizing the penalties uh, per day and uh, some other things that I think this county um, supports with the, the association, I don't remember the name. So uh, I think the question you have to ask yourself is that do you have jurisdiction out there? And uh, I don't think you do. And I think that if you did, that uh, obviously you'd run out there and give them a stock, stock work order if they expanded or enlarged their facility. Uh, because that's what you did to me. So I would suspect that if you had the authority that you would have gone out there and you would have done that. So um, I do a lot of business with the Navy. Um, and I believe that the Navy is probably doing the right thing out there. Um, it's deceiving to see boxes and stuff laying out. You don't know if they're full or empty. And a lot of times, from what I know about Indian Island, there's a lot of small arms. Um, and the small arms are 9 millimeter, 45, uh, 5.56 five, rounds that are used for our troops. And um, from what I know, um, and the people I've associated with, including um, EOD, which is the Explosives Ordnance Disposal Group, and they have a detachment of guys at Banger that oversee that, that they are very carefully watching and monitoring all of that stuff. Um, so anyways, that's my two cents. Thank you.